Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back, Lucha FM. This time bringing you TW 2020 Fight Club Pro, and we are currently on episode 13 of that. Last episode, um, we managed to do quite well, if I remember. Our last show managed to get 109 people, which is the most we've ever done. We also got a 75 show rating as well, which was really good. We had a lot of matches that were that were 80s and 70s, so really good show. Um, and hopefully this show that we do coming up in a second, hopefully it will do better than the last one. We currently have £313,000 in the bank, so as always I will keep continue to improve the merchandise and hopefully that will benefit us in the long run. But yeah, I uh, just want to say thank you to the people who watched the last episode, really appreciate it. Uh, like I've said a few times now, the TW2020 community even though it's a small game, uh, it's a niche game, there's a lot of people that do like to watch the videos. So I really appreciate it. And thank you on the TW groups on Facebook as well. People who, who have been commenting and uh, watching the videos, it's much appreciated as always. But yeah, so in a second, I'll be back with the first part of the TW 2020 episode 13 of Fight Club Pro. All right, so let's start, uh, let's start this episode with the first show. Um, it's called FCW Project Mayhem 3. So we are currently on June 2026 of this age. So we're doing quite well. We're getting through the through the years in this game already. I think this is the, this is definitely the longest I've ever done a, a TW so for. So yeah, so there you go. Right, I'm just going to do that automatically, uh, like so. And then oh, we've got no backstage incidents, which is good. Right, so first match, um, probably throw the women in here. So we'll do Ginny versus, should we do Zaya Brookside? I think we'll do Zaya Brookside this time. Uh, an actual feud in real life on, fight, uh, on NXT UK many years ago. They had a bit of a feud. Oh, what am I doing? That's right, Baxter was trying to get on my keyboard, so distracted me. Right, 20 minutes. Uh, who's the women's champion? Is it still Killer Kelly? I can't remember. Yeah. We'll put her in a match afterwards. So that'll be a good way to open the show. Uh, and we'll do Killer Kelly defending her women's title against Millie McKenzie, maybe. I think she's already wrestled Kaylee Ray, hasn't she? She wrestled one of the last shows. Ivy Lee, there you go. Put her against Ivy Lee, see how she gets on. Yep, that's Baxter yawning, bless him, he's tired. 20 minutes, women's match. That, and then we'll just do a couple of angles between these two. We'll just put all four in an, in an angle. So Ginny, microphone, Killer Kelly, microphone, oh, not Menace, microphone, uh, Zia Broxide, microphone, and then Ivy Lease, microphone, there we go. We'll just put all four in there like so. Put that in the middle of the two matches. Next match, we'll do a tag team match. There we go. And then what we'll do, mail, tag team view, I can't remember. The, sorry, because sorry, I haven't done this since last uh, last week, so it's just trying to remember who the tag champions are. Oh, it's bloody Mark Andrews and Morgan West, of course this Right, so who are we going to have them against this time? Right. Oh, that, that'd be an interesting one. Ashton Smith and Rampage Brown. As always, we'll have, obviously, Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews win. Um, what we'll do, we'll do a bit of storytelling in this one. See if that helps the match in any way. That's to being very wriggly at the moment when I'm trying to play this blooming game. <laughs> and then what we'll do, we'll do an angle afterwards where Ashton Smith and Rampage Brown attack Mark Andrews and fight him. Ashton Smith. Sorry, just getting a bit annoyed with Baxter. <laughs> um, he just wants to play, bless him. Uh, we'll do Selin. Morgan Webster, Selin. That's that. So that'll be a uh, post-match angle that they do. Uh, right, I'm just going to do a wacky six-way singles match. Right, male. We'll just do a normal six-way match. Male, A Kid, who else? Uh, Amazing Red, BT Gun, uh, who else should we put in here? No, Willie Chris Hero, El Fantasmo, Grado, sorry about this. And who else? Kid Lycos, because he hasn't wrestled for ages. There we go, like so. Do 20 minutes. Uh, what have A Kid win that one? Oh, well, BT Gun, you'll just have to get over it, and you will, El Fantasmo. Okay, everybody unhappy with the results, so what we'll do is we'll get rid of A Kid and we'll just leave it. There you go. Um, right, so how many minutes have we done so far? 103 minutes. We've gone 88, so we'll not be pinlined, so we'll probably do what we'll do is we'll do a 
main event now and then we'll just do a preamble for the main event afterwards with four way singles and we'll have Kenny Williams Chris Sabin Matt Seidel uh and then let's see who else. Maybe Jack Evans, but we'll see if there's anybody else we can put in here instead. And seven. About 20 minutes. Put the heavyweight title on the line. Um, I think I'm going to have Trent win this. Actually, I'm going to leave it blank. No, I'm going to have Trent win this. So we're going to have a new champion, everybody. And just spoiler alert. Um, we're going to have steal the show. Let's hope that they do steal the show, literally. Do an angle. If it lets us. Let's go. There we go. Okay, Trent. Boom. Kenny Williams, Kenny Williams, microphone, Matt Seidel, microphone, and Chris Saber, microphone. Push that there. And then the one thing I need to do, which I forgot to do, is do a pre-match tag team match. We're going to have Blue Kane, Shea Purser, Elton Prince, and Kit Wilson. 15 minutes pre-show, Blue Kane winning. What's that say? The referee can't be a competitor. Oh, Shea Purser needs to not be the referee for that one. There you go. So that's that. So there we go. So I'm quite happy with that one. I just want to double check that we're not going to get penalised. No, let's check the booking analysis. Amazing Red's been used too much. I've at least been used too much. But other than that, everything's fine. So we're good to go. Uh, opening match got a 50 rating. Standout performer was obviously the tag team of Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Yes, boys. Um, then we have Ginny versus Zaya Brookside. To kick off the show, We've got an 81 rating. Zaya Brookside only got 57, but Ginny got 85. Started the show strong. There we go. Ginny was terrible with no script. I keep forgetting to put Ginny on a script. Then an exceptional match. Killer Kelly defeated Ivor Lease. Got 72 rating, so that's good. Ivor Lease wasn't too bad. Uh, we had Scum versus POD, which got a 79 rating, which is good. It does really help having better announcers and that now. It really does add something to the the show. The angle afterwards got 68. Oh, this is disappointing. Oh, this match only got 66. Uh, who was the A-Kid? Uh, A-Kid and El Fantasma were good. Uh, Kid Lycos was amazing. Um, who was the worst one? BT Gun. Probably need to get rid of BT Gun at this point. He's just, he's either getting in fights, moaning, or not. he's not putting in the performances now. Before, he was putting in the performances, so he kind of Kind of put up with it, but I am putting up with that. Yeah, we need to put maybe next one. We need to put Aikid versus Kid Like Us too. I think that'd be a good match to do a singles match. Uh, the angle with the four competitors in the main event got a 64 rating. All these lots of greens, good to see. And then the main event got a 78, which is not too bad considering we did steal the show. Trent Trent Seven wins the Fight Club Pro Heavyweight Title, so he is a local lad, a Fight Club Pro lad, so he deserves to win the title. Um, Kenny Williams got a 79 rating, so Kenny Williams will still be in the occasional main event, but I think what I'm going to probably do is put him and Joseph Connors versus Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews in the next show as the semi-main event. I think they would have, I think they'll have an, uh, a good tag team match. But yeah, the match got the crowd buzzing. Um, obviously, they're happy with the result. I think so we got a 75 rating we got 111 people so that's the most we've done now so that's really good uh obviously i release was used slightly overused but yeah got a 75 rating so not bad at all S equaled the same show overall rating that we got last show uh, we'll just wait for this now let's go there we are all right so all right great opinion a kid is charismatic kid is a future star we managed to get a 0.01 tv rating again 1950 viewers 8,201 of viewers overall. So I think that's slightly up than it was before. 5% um, prestige, 82% momentum, 352 grand in the bank. Let's have a look, actually. I forgot to show you last month's financial. So last month, we made we made, we made made 45 grand from performance, 999 from ticket sales, 854 from broadcast revenue, sponsors, 9,770, 840 from merchandise and then the alliance payout was 84 grand jesus christ gets more and more that does um but yeah that sets us up nicely so we've got another show in six days which is really good because it means i don't have to wait forever in between shows we're back for the next show which is pulp fiction free um previous pulp fictions we had kenny williams defeating kid lycos to retain the fight club pro title and then the Last year's Pulp Fiction was the main event of Kenny Williams defeating Nathan Cruz, Kid Like Us 2, Curtis uh, Chapman, Mark Irving, Trent Seven, retain the title, which didn't do that well. Well, looks like this was a poor show for us. Um, but yeah, let's hope we don't do that this time. Uh, we do have some, oh, we have some 
backstage incidents we need to work through. Um, Bret Hart was being obnoxious and eventually beat up. Okay, so we need to find him. We've upset a few people, but I mean, I can't. I, mean, he's, I know he's Bret Hart, but we can't let him get away with beating up wrestlers. Uh, got into a heated argument with a fan outside. That's not too bad. We're just fine. Uh, turned up late. Fine, yeah. Jimmy Snooker. Sorry, Sin Snooker was brought into wrestlers' court. Uh, absorbed by his phone. Robert upside. Basically, found a guilty. Sent him to buy a crate of beer for the locker room later. So not too bad. It's a shame about Bret Hart though. Right, let's get on with this then. So what we're going to do is start the show with a bang and we're going to have Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster versus Kenny Williams and Joseph Connors for the tag titles. What I'm going to do is leave it open, let the AI decide who wins. We're going to go, mm, should, we, should we go steal the show? I'm going to leave it as regular. I think it's probably the best thing to do. Regular 22 minutes name, sorry. There you go. Yep, that's fine. I'm just going to do an angle with these as well. So, Kenny Williams, Joseph Connors, Mark Andrews, Morgan Webster. So, there you go. Push that up here. Um, I'm going to do Blue Kane and Shea Purser versus uh, Contenders. That is a pre-show match. Blue Kane winning. Shea Purser needs to be not referee in this one. Uh, right, so next match for the main show. Women's match, I think. We'll do four-way women's match. Uh, and then what we'll do here is Ginny, Kelly Kelly, Kaylee Ray, Zy Brookside. What we'll do, we'll leave it open. See what happens. Uh, what we'll do, we will do a segment with the women in it. Ginny needs to be scripted though. Via Brookside, microphone, Kelly Ray, microphone, and who was the other one? Microphone, and who was the other one? Kelly, Kelly that's it. Champ, microphone. Okay, what's that up there? Right, let's see. Just do a singles match now. Singles match. Um, who are we having? Male. Oh yeah, A Kid versus. I'll just put on against Chris Saban, I think. It wasn't Chris Saban, but I can't remember it was, but yeah. All right, let's see how we're doing. 75 minutes, 86, we're not penalised. We're going to do a main event now of Trent Seven. I can't do Trent Seven because he's not available, which is really annoying. Maybe it was a bad idea putting the title on Trent. Oh, well, right, let's have a look. He's down. Uh, who we got? Do the Pope, I suppose. Ara Noir, El Fantasma, Grado. We've got a few options. Paul London, we could have a match. Ara Noir, El Fantasmo, Grado. We've got a few options. Paul London, we could have a match. Rich Swan. Tell you what, then, I'm not going to have a singles match for the main event. I'm going to change that. I'm going to do a crazy, see how many, 10. If you can hear somebody moaning, that's backstage trying to chew his foot. That's his new thing that he likes to do now, is chew his foot. Rich Swan. Oh, uh, Chris Masters, sorry. Matt Seidel. Jack Evans. Can't do Jack Evans, he's not available. Dave Mastiff, then. We've got four more. Let's see who else we can put in here. Hey, all. Scroll down here, see we've got available. Kanemura, I suppose. Uh, Vincent, maybe. Tom Lawler. With Tom Lawler. Vincent. Uh, Thomas Billington. Ryback. <laughs> Ryback in there with them. With them, Rich Swan. Maybe Rampage Brown. Rampage Brown. There you go. Crazy match to end the show. 23 minutes. We'll just go car crash. It probably won't be the best of main events for that reason. Okay, so they haven't got the stamina, so we'll just knock this down. 15. Okay. Uh, we've still got time. <laughs> so we'll do another. We'll actually do a proper main event now. Instead of me just winging it because I couldn't put Trent Seven in a match. To do that, pick the two best. Who can we pick here then? Uh, Amazing Red? No. Alan Angels versus Grado, maybe. Super crazy. There you go. Super crazy. All right, so here we go. Show Starting the show. Um, Kamikaze defeated the contenders. Got a 50 rating. Um, Kelly Six was the standout performer. Uh, Blue Kane got a 35 rating, which I think is slightly better than what he was doing before. So the angle with the um, new elements and Skunk got a 61 rating. Uh, Joseph Connors underperformed. Joseph Connors and Mark Andrews were terrible with no scripts. So I've got to try and remember to script them next time. 78 rating for the tag team match, which ain't too bad. Um, new element win. So we've got new tag team champions, everyone. There you go. Kenny, Win Kenny Williams did not go without a championship for long. He's now he's gone from being the longest fight club pro champion of all time to now being a tag team champion. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I wasn't planning on 
having Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster lose anytime soon, but I like to see what the AI does. And they decided to crown um, the new element as the tag team champion. So we'll maybe look into giving them a decent run. Um, also, it frees up Mark Andrews and Morgan Webster for the heavyweight title, especially if Trent Seven's not available all the time. But anyway, right, back on to the show. Um, so Ginny struggled slightly because other people weren't following a script. So that angle didn't go well because even though all these are green, I don't know why Ginny's blaming everybody else other than herself. The four-way women's match got a 73 Killer Kelly Retained the title. Um, a kid, uh, sorry, Chris Saban defeated A kid. Got 58 rating, which is a shame because them two, you'd have thought they'd had a better match than that. And then this six way match got, uh, sadly, only got a 54 rating. Who was the best one out of this? Like Rich Swan got a 68, Matt Seidel got a 67, Thomas Billington got a 71, Rampage Round got a 67. So Thomas Billington was the standout star here. Ryback was terrible, Vincent wasn't very good, Tom Lawler was okay, uh, Chris Masters was okay as well, and Paul London was rubbish. So, not the best. Maybe I'll look at getting rid of some of these American imports. I think Paul London needs to go. What, how did Rich Swan do? 68, Rich Swan can stay. Chris Masters can go. And um, might keep Tom Lawler for now. Vince, Vincent can go and Ryback can go. No point having oh, there you go. Tom Lawler sustained a strain there. Uh, Ryback needs to go because he's dangerous. CM Punk was right after all, everybody. Um, yep. Yeah. Alan Angels in the main event defeated Super Crazy in 15 minutes, got a 49 rank. This show is not going to be doing well. We're kind of come and stuck when Trent Seven wasn't available. Yeah, 45, 4. At least we got 111 people again. But yeah, I could, I should have done better in that show, everyone. I apologise for that. I should have booked that a bit better. This is what happens when you book on the wing sometimes. You don't realise that certain wrestlers aren't available. What I'll do for the next show is I'll have a look before I book the show so I can kind of have an idea how to book the show. Hopefully Trent's available so I can at least put him in a match for the title and probably put him in a... Probably what I'm going to do next show is have a three-way match. Uh, I keep forgetting I've got Maki Ito. I need to... I need to. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. High Club Pro has risen to tiny size. That's good. Um, 0.01 TV rating, 1.95 viewers 7 7 uh, 116 altogether Tom all injured so what I need to do first things first oh is medical which is down here oh we can't do anything so <laughs> that's quite funny buttocks contu uh, contusion reminds me of uh, Lieutenant it reminds me of Forrest Gump and uh, he got shot in the buttocks but um, yeah anyway We've got Mike Bird out for a while, and so is Pat Bouncer. Pete Bouncer, sorry. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is I want to see if we've got 85% momentum. We've got 14% prestige. We've gone up 9% after that show. We're now 35th in the world. Um, so this is how we're doing so far. We're seven, We're popular. We're 17, we've got 17 in the Midlands, 8 in Northern England, 4 in Scotland, 8 in Southern England, 3 in Ireland, and 8 in Wales, USA. We've just got ones in USA, Canada's the same, Mexico zero, Japan zero, Europe fives all around, Oceano zero, India zero. Um, so what I want to do is I want to see if we can get a, a TV deal. Oh, look at this. This is interesting, everyone. High spots. There we go. Let's see if we can get. Oh, we can. This is interesting now. Right, so not willing to offer us this long. Actually, before I go crazy, let's see who's available. Before I start. So these are the ones that are available to us now. High Spots, uh, IWTV, Local Midlands One, My Channel, Pivot Share, Powerbomb TV, Power Slam Wrestling, Rise, Smart Mark Video, Twitch, Britain as well, Twitch Europe, Ustream, Vimeo, uh, and that's it really, that's the, that's the ones we're already on. So what we can do, let's have a look and see. So very small, so I think that's better than tiny. So bear in mind that small, tiny, 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 tiny as well. Twitch, tiny, tiny for Twitch Europe. Ustream is tiny as well. Vimeo, tiny. So the, the best one is my channel in it, small. So what we're going to try and do is negotiate a new deal for after burn. Uh, my channel not winning to offer you a deal this long time spot. So we need to do that first. So they only want it for they only want it for three months at the moment. We do late night. Not keen on the site they would expect you to offer. So we need to offer them a what we need to do as well. We need to put this up as well. No, we don't. 
that's going to cost us a fortune and maybe this not might not be the best idea actually. So the revenue will split would be 20% to the company but then we'd have to pay 22 grand. Oh, I don't think this will work. All right, let's try. So the only options are is graveyard at the moment. We wouldn't have to pay anything. Oh, we would actually. We'd get 30% to the company, MTV roadies. Hmm. Let's see. So that's one option. Let's see what else is out there. We might go with a slightly... We go local Midlands, New, Afterburn. There's, they're not as good popularity-wise, but they might be willing to give us a better offer. Late night. So we can get 100% to the company. So that's good. We're going to head to head with 12 other non-wrestling shows in that time slot. South Park, The Crown, The Boys, Evil Lives... Here, inside number nine, Scream, Human Target, uh, Siesta Key, Wild Out, Total Divas, Nightline, Poker Night in America. Well, we're not too bothered about America, are we? Because we're not looking to get too... We're not looking to expand in America just yet. Um, Fight Club Pro would not pay anything per show in this deal, which is good. So n neither would local Midlands. Uh, well, how does that work then? Yeah, unless you have exclusive rights to the footage of all regions. So basically, they wouldn't pay us to be on their sh on their channel, but we'd get 100% of the revenue. I feel like this is the better one out of the lot. I don't think we're going to get a better deal than this. So I'm going to go, yeah. Let me know in the comments section if I've done well here or I've completely it up um but it's only for three months so worst comes to worst we can renegotiate afterwards so they're exclusive what we can do here is we can look at uh my channel and then what we could do is extend i oh know we can't extend deal uh new deal sorry for events we go three months late night uh, they want they want too much money here yeah they want way too much money it's not worth it would give us good exposure but would cost us 22 grand per show so what we'll do is leave that. That is not an option, not worth doing. So we'll look at high spots now. So what we could do is new spot, new deal for the events. Uh, they are happy for nine months. And what we could do here is just keep putting this up until it costs us money. There we go. So we get 60% on demand. It helps us get more popular. Do the same for IWTV. Uh, yeah, that's fine. They've also got an 18 rating. Uh, this is exactly the same deal that we did for high spots. Uh, Pivot share, we'll try that one. New deal for events. They're happy with these terms. So they're happy for nine months. We'll just bump this up. They're slightly better. They got a 19. Oh, so they want, sorry, I keep looking. This is a popularity thing. They want a 19. But we do that every show anyway. There's not there's not many shows we haven't done more than 50. So we're fine. How on TV, new deal for events. 18. So the minimum they want from us is an 18, which is fine. Hopefully this will work well and we'll just be making loads of money. Uh, we're already with these. Good like that. Rise. New deal for events. They want a 20 minimum. They only want a six month deal. 60% we get ad revenue. Smart mark video. Probably going to be the same as the other ones. There you go. Like so. Um... Twitch Britain, they want six months late evening, maybe. No, great late night evening. No, we're gonna have to go late night. Late night, do get 100% though. That's not too bad. Um, do the same for Twitch, do it for events. So you never know, this might work out in our favor in the long run. Six months on demand, they want 20 percent revenue so at least we're forming a good little network of broadcasting deals. So it'll be interesting to see how the next show does with there you go late night and so we get 100 percent from that as well um i think that's it now yeah so that's that when's our next show so there's not a show oh there should be a show in a minute actually tomorrow night so we'll just forward this right we're back and we've got our first afterburn episode so there you go this is history in the making it took us a while but we've finally got a tv deal um so i'm really happy about this so this will help us get better wrestlers eventually as well um, let's just have a look at the absent workers first. So no Damien Sandow, no D'Angelo De Niro, no Danny Luma or Ed Rowe, Mike Bird, Nicole Matthews, Paul London, Pete Bouncer, Sean Davari, Sue Young and Vincent. So that means Trent Seven should be available this one. Fingers crossed. Uh, incident involving uh, the Federos, the Federer Santos Jr. He uh, showed up scheduled meeting as a uh, he failed to show up for a meeting with a road agent, basically. So I'm just going to find him for that. It's not too bad. These things happen. I forgot to get rid of Ryback. Gangrel was antagonizing Ryback so much that a fight broke out and they had to be pulled apart. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of Gangrel. I'll get rid of Ryback in a minute when I can be bothered, whenever I remember. James Drake. I forgot we had James Drake. I think we've got Zach Gibson as well. Uh, was being a jerk backstage, eventually threw a punch at Cafe Noir. So we'll just find him because I want to 
put him in the show today. Uh, Simon Grimm was brought into Restless Court, accused of being uh, an hour late to pick up the assigned travel partner. The judge, Robbie Brookside, found him guilty and sentenced to pay for the travel partner's meals for the next three shows. So there you go. Right. Um, let's, it's only an hour long, and they want... Um, you must book at least... You must book 54 minutes to be... So I don't know if they're, they're not saying any angles at the moment. Right, so what we're going to do is do a tag team match to start the show. Hopefully I've got Zach Gibson and James Drake. I haven't got Zach Gibson. That's annoying. Um, maybe I couldn't sign Zach Gibson. I think there was a reason for that. I think somebody else signed him. But the new tag team champions, we won't straight away put them um, against Scum. We'll hold that off for a bit. But what we're going to do instead is... Have them against Generation next. Nice little match to open the show. Um, we'll have Joseph Connors and Kenny Williams win. A bit normal. Oh, Connors is not, is not a competitor. What? Hold on. Let me just see that again. You've booked the Fight Club Pro tag team titles to be on the line, but at least one of the current holders is not in the match competitor. Oh, I could have sworn the last show in the new element one. I've got that completely wrong. So, we're going to start again. Uh, no, we'll just leave this as a normal match, actually. This could be like a number one contenders match. There you go. We'll class that. Uh, we don't need to do any angles this one, apparently, according to this. So that's good. One on one. Do um, Ginny versus Killer Kelly. The women's title. Do 18 minutes for that. Women's. Leave it as it is. And then, ah, there we go. They are, they are complaining now. That is typical. Didn't come up a minute ago. The Ginny microphone scripted. Script Killer Kelly as well. That's that. Push that up, push that up here. Uh, seven more minutes to... Right, I probably need to do an angle for... There's only going to be two matches on this one by the looks of it. I need to... After this one, I need to probably expand the show to one hour and a half so I can do at least three matches per show and a couple of angles instead as well. Do Kenny Williams. Microphone. Joseph Connors. Microphone. Jack Evans, microphone, Matt Seidel, microphone. I think it was, uh, I need to script him, and I think it's him as well. Right, so there's only two matches on this show, I think, by the looks of it. Uh, 53 minutes, 55, the matches are at 75% of the level, okay, so, right, might have put this match up to 25 then. Fine, right, let's start this show and see how we get on. So uh, the angle got a 44, Joseph Connors struggles, so we should have put him... Um, yeah, we should just put everyone on. So next time I do an angle, I'm just going to script everyone, see how that goes. But 44 for that. The match got a 63 rating. New Element defeated Generation Next in a number one contenders match. So at the next event, we'll probably have New Element versus Scum for the tag titles. Um, Ginny versus... Sorry, the angle with Ginny and Killer Kelly got a 45, 46, sorry. And then the match only got a 66, which is quite disappointing um killer kelly defends the title so tom campbell oh for god's sake i have, i forgot to change the commentators for uh it doesn't matter though i'll change it in a minute increase the popularity in one region we've got 71 people in got 62 overall rating which ain't too bad so exciting times ahead everyone um moving forward this the we'll probably be able to um, recorded quite a few more me doing booking quite a few more shows because I'm going to have a TV show every week and the events as well uh, and that will obviously get bigger and better as we go along I don't really particularly want to do two shows a week and then events as well I think that's a bit for me it's a bit overkill oh we go company relationship negotiation with BJW uh, relationship changed okay. BJW are proposing that you accept workers on exertion form. Okay, that's good. So they're sending us wrestlers to wrestle over here in the UK to get more more experience. Um, David Morales, so Dave Mastiff has joined e, uh, BJW. So Afterburn, the first episode of Afterburn got a 0.1 TV rating, 2,184 viewers. Not too bad. So um, what was I meant to do? Oh yeah, let me do this before I forget. Right, so events, TV Afterburn, that's why. So... Who have I got for events again? So we've got Greg Lambert, Bret Hart, and Jim Smallman. So Greg Lambert, Bret Hart, and Smallman. Right, so this this will automatically make the Afterburn shows better. And then also what we need to do is broadcasting Afterburn. One and a half hours, there you go. Maybe I will need to add another show eventually. We'll be all right for now. Right then, um, yeah, so... Yeah, that's it for this episode. It's been a long episode, but um, a good one. I hope you enjoy it. We are on the up. We finally got a TV show, everyone. So that's really good. So that's real good progress for us. And then hopefully, like I said, we'll get better and better now. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who's been watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please um, comment on the video, whether you liked it, whether you didn't. Let me know if I ballsed up on the TV deals, please. 
Uh, let me know if there's any wrestlers that you want me to try and bring into uh, Fight Club Pro, and I'll be back um, in a few days with another episode. Cheers. Bye.